listen, everything's gonna be all right. Mummy's gonna be right behind you. You've got nothing to worry about. Listen, you're gonna look after one another. Yeah. Jack, Jill, I love you. I love you more than anything. What's going on? Why is he after us? Mummy's gotta go, but I'll always be with you. You've gotta go up that hill. You've gotta keep going. Never turn back, never look back. Just keep going, okay? I love you. Now go, now go. Mom, go, no. go, go, go! This is Janie Flannan reporting. I'm just about to head into the mountains now. The time has just gone 3 p.m. nothing yet. I've been tracking for a while, but I haven't seen anything suspicious. What do you think I'm going to find? Bigfoot? <laughs> no, seriously, though, I'm a reporter. This is just a trail to nothing. How am I going to find a story out of this? Look, there's no wild beasts in the UK. And besides, I'm starting to realise just how easy it is for somebody to get lost around here. Sam, hello. Can you hear me, Sam?
Wrong turn coming off the motorway. Sure. I feel like we've been trying to organise this for so long. Yeah. Just trying to get the six of us, five of us together is quite hard. He'll be missed, babe. I promise I'll try not to bring everyone down. No, don't be silly. We're here for you, babe. We lost a friend. You lost more. I am so sorry. I should have been there for you. I should have realised. No. How bad it Life's just been so hectic, and ever since I moved to London, I just. Damn, don't. don't blame me or anyone else. Tom is fine. Don't blame you or anyone else. You can't stop me doing what I did. Anytime you feel like you've been pulled into the darkness, please. Please. Just take my hand and I can help you back to the light again. <laughs> what is it? It sounded like something Lulu would say. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, babe. We all do. Strength in unity. Right? That mob are probably already at Craven Hill already. too tough, just let me know. I've got you, all right? Come on then, let's do this for him.
this one. Oh. Oh, God, I'm exhausted. Really, Greg? We haven't even started. Sure, you're ready for a trekking weekend. Oh. Right, let's check it. <laughs> All right, so which lucky girl bunker with me then? Oh, Greg. Sorry, but boy storms and girl storms, so no funny business. Yeah, no funny business, Greg. Watch. Are you doing? Are you coming? Sure, in a moment. You sure you got enough of that stuff on? <laughs> what are you looking at? Girls? No. Local myths and legends, actually. Wild. Do you ever look at girls? <clears throat> oh, um... Shouldn't we be, uh, meeting the others in the common room? Yeah, but first... One for the road. Yes. Eden, are you okay? Are you going back in? Uh, maybe not. I might go to bed. It's really nice out here. I mean, it's not usually my kind of thing. You know me, I'm a bit of a city boy. <laughs> yeah, I remember trying to persuade you away from Amsterdam when we went. <laughs> Day looking at windmills. Yeah, no chance. The sex museum, though, I mean, that was good. <laughs> Eye opening. I really blew it for you, didn't I? You didn't, honey. What the hell are you doing? I, I thought. <laughs> you thought wrong. Jesus Christ, Danny. What on earth made you think that? It never worked out between us before. I know. We weren't suited. What, you think I need a pity shag, is that it? No. Or maybe you do. Look, you forget it. I'm sorry. I've had too much to do. It's just typical me, just being a dick. Why did you even come? Hmm? You never bothered before, did you? When Lucas was alive? Always had an excuse. Did you ever think that maybe I could have faced seeing you two together? I pretended it was okay, but he was my best friend, Eden. And then you became this perfect couple. Meanwhile, I'm the selfish prick for being jealous. Look. I'm sorry. Is it tomorrow that we're going on the long one? Yeah. So we'll check out the local sites here, and then after checkout tomorrow, we'll head to Silverton. Sound good? Sure. Sounds good. Um, so, Greg, you know those local legends you were talking about yesterday? Oh. <laughs> I don't think anyone was listening. <laughs> I was. <laughs> OK, well, um, well, you know what? The area's famous, right? No. OK, well, story goes, um, in the early 90s, 
A woman called Kelly Jane Fleming escaped from a nearby psychiatric asylum after being locked away for most of her life. Now, although she was locked away for all that time, she gave birth to twins, a boy and a girl, which led to accusations that she had some sort of twisted relationship with someone at the asylum. Shit. Mm. Yeah, there were awful tales of abuse at the institution, so. That's horrible. Bet she was desperate to get away for the kids' sake. Mm, well, it gets worse. Apparently, her parents were brother and sister. And, yeah, they subjected her to years of sexual abuse before they committed her. Fucking hell, Greg. I thought it was meant to be an urban legend. Oh, listen. Now, she was never seen again. But, oddly enough, one of the hospital orderlies went out with the search party. And he never returned. Now, some say she died during her escape, but her children survived. And they were rumored to live on the hills overlooking a valley. Which valley? Uh, uh, Warren Valley. And then what? Well, some say, if you stand on a high point on a quiet night, you can hear her whistling. And the area is renowned for missing items. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, great story, Greg. What's next? Bloody Mary. Oh, come on. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry about last night. Forget it. It will happen again. It's fine. I'm going inside. Have a shower. Should we wake her? No, let her rest. Should we wake the boys? Can you see them wanting to walk to a village at 7am? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> so should we just chill here for a bit and then head back? Yeah, sure. Cheers. Cheers. Morning. Morning. Uh, are you local? Tourists. You? No, we're from the city. Drove on out to get you. Oh. I don't oh. blame you. It's beautiful here. Mm, it is. Uh, well, I, I know it's unlikely, but um, our sister went missing in this area a little while ago. You haven't seen her, have you? Mm. No, no, sorry. Are you ladies on a walking holiday? Kind of. It's a bit of a pilgrimage. We're going to have a walk through the hills. We're here in memory. A departed friend. Oh, that's lovely. I'm so sorry for your loss. Look, I, I know it's a lot to ask, but um, if you see anyone along the trail, would you mind handing out a few of the posters? Yeah, yeah. of course. Cool. Are you going to go out and look for her now? Yeah, we're just heading out um, on the trail that we think she went on toward Silverton. Just have a look around and get some flyers out. And make sure you're back before dark. You don't want to get lost in those mountains. Oh, no. Anyway, we should get going. i hopefully see you girls along the trail. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Good luck. Oh, my God. I hope they find her. No. Pulsing. She has to be here. She's our little sister. We will find her one way or another.
There's someone in the woods. Don't let your mind play tricks on you or jump to conclusions. People go missing in the woods all the time. Come on. You all right? Are you okay? I'm not going to hurt you. I'm, I'm just here to help. There's literally no signal. I need to check my brother's been feeding Monty. And I guess we did choose the cheap option. <laughs> He is the most unreliable person in the world. Eden. Eden. Hmm? What's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. Um, some of the people that have stayed in this hostel have gone missing. Uh -huh. 
The valley that Greg mentioned? Yeah. I thought he was talking sh- Are you worried? Do you know? And you guess there are five of us? He'll be fine. I know what I'm doing. And Danny's good at indoor climbing. We went to the same place in third year. Plus, this trip's about adventure, not just sightseeing. Yeah, I suppose. Hey, camp here? Is the lake nearby? Yes. What can Skinner do? Absolutely no chance. Not with Danny Boy lurking. <laughs> Plus, it's going to be about five degrees tonight. Okay. Spoil sport. Let's just set up camp here. We can have a few drinks, toast a few marshmallows, maybe even a little spin the bottle. <laughs> Calm yourself, you're getting over excited. You OK, Eden? Yeah. Yeah, just uh, didn't sleep very well last night. Want to help me put the tent up? Lou is rubbish at that kind of stuff. Oh. Um, yeah. Fine. What? No class. <laughs> Girls, tell me I'm not the only one that has noticed. Greg definitely fancies you. Shut up. He does. He's been beetroot red every time he's been near you. I mean, I feel like if it was a dog, <laughs> he'd want your leg by now. Stop it. <laughs> so ask her out. I know you like her. <laughs> Jesus, mate. It's written all over your face. No, no Lulu is one of my favourite people, but that's it. We're just friends. Come off it. She's been checking you out all night. Maybe. I just don't feel the same way. Fact, I, I think I kind of like someone else. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you dark horse. Who is it? Which girl? Oh, just someone leave else. It. Leave it. Leave it. They don't feel the same way, so it's not even worth mentioning. Go and ask him out. If you wait for him, you'll be waiting forever. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fine. I will. <laughs> Just you watch me. <laughs> She's coming over. Um, mind if I join you? Uh, Dom and me, guys. Um, um, I'm leave you to it, yeah? I think it's great that we all get to spend so much time together as a group on this trip. 
Yeah, yeah, it's really great. Um, it would be really nice if we could spend some more time together. Just the two of us. I feel like I've hardly seen you. Lulu. Yes, Greg. Lou, I think I know what you're going to say. But please don't. Look, I love our friendship. Hanging out. You're amazing, but... I just can't be who you want me to be. I can't feel the way you want me to feel. Truth is, I like someone else. Someone we both know. How's it? <laughs> well, they can't be Eden, surely. Oh, sh It's Danny, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> My God, look at the love birdie. Careful, you might fall. Fine. Where are the others? Oh, we're just grabbing some breakfast before we head out across the valley. Come on. You're up early this morning. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> I overdid it last night. I'm sorry for getting emotional. Oh, don't be silly, you don't need to apologise. We're just gonna enjoy the surroundings and have a great time. Sure. You know, Lucas was right about this place. Yeah. He was right about a lot of things. We just need to enjoy the moment, I think. Create some memories. No one knows how long they have left. Look, Eden. I know this must be a lot to handle right now. I just had no idea. I think back to that time and I think if I could have done anything, do anything differently, if I could have known what he was thinking. Yeah, but you couldn't have known. That's the point. He would have had to have told you. And apparently most suicides actually occur in them because they don't talk about how they feel. And that's why it's really important that you do tell us how you're feeling. Emotions aren't something to cower from. We've got you. That's what this whole trip is about. Remembering Lucas for the good times, not how he left us. What's that? That's some kind of notice board. So all these people have gone missing in Gilmore Pass? Is that a lot? This isn't the Andes, Dan. It's a lot. Missing how? Not the walls. Christ! I hope you've all been watching those survival programmes, because we're going to need it if we go missing out here. <laughs> so, are we supposed to go that way? Okay. Okay. Uh... So, uh, Gilmore Pass is the shortest way to the next valley. Uh, it seems like this is the most challenging gradient up ahead, leading to some caves, lakes, woodlands and streams, and a gradual decline around to the other side. So we go round? Oh. oh, well, there's no guarantee that the steep hill is the most dangerous part. It could be hidden ravines or cave deeper into the pass. So I do. I like a challenge. I'm doing the climb and I'm taking my chances. What's the alternative route to Silverton? 
Uh, okay. Uh, well, if we avoid Gilmore Pass and go through Bell Valley, it's an extra half day. But it's the scenic route. Well, let's try this way. Okay. Come on. Guys, this is really steep. I'm wearing shoes for walking, not mountain climbing. It's hardly a mountain, babe. I've done worse in Snowdonia. Yeah, well, you climb, Tam. I don't. I'm not comfortable. I did think this would be a bit more relaxing. Right. I'm not sure I'm cut out for this. Yeah. Me neither. I mean, go for it, by all means. I'm climbing it. Yeah, me too. OK, well, you guys go. We'll mill around and circle back and meet you at the hostel. Sounds good. Right, so you're really going to do this? You're really that hellbent on climbing. Well, we're here, so why the hell not? What is your problem? What is your problem? There's no problem from me. I love you, Eden. And I really want this trip to be great for you and for Lucas. But there is five of us on this trip, not just you. Sorry, I didn't sleep well. Forget it. Look, you guys go and we'll meet you later. Greg? Where can we converge? Oh. <clears throat> uh, okay. You guys go up, and we'll go down and around. We'll meet at Thornycroft Lake, which is here. By the time you get up to the top and we go down and around, dark will be setting in. So I suggest we set up camp when possible and head to the lake in the morning. It's at least a couple of miles through the pass. Right. So that's all I do, boys and girls. Yeah. Are we good? Always good. Look at you. stunning. I just wish you was here with us. Me too. It feels strange. Us meeting like this without him. I find it hard with Eden being here sometimes. I just feel guilty for wanting to cry in front of her. She really lost so much more than us. I just think if she wasn't here, maybe we could all just let it out just a little bit more. Do it. What? Let it out. No one's watching. If that's how you feel, just do it. Look, Lucas was a good friend to us all. I think we all just feel a bit guilty because of what happened. So if that's how you're feeling, let it out. Is it? You know, people think I'm just a dumb jock and I don't have feelings. I know I mess around sometimes, but I still feel things. He was my best friend and I let him down. You couldn't have foreseen that. 
None of us knew how Lucas was feeling. We wasted so much time, and we grew apart. All because I was jealous of what he had with Eden. You think I'm not jealous? Why would you be jealous? I love Eden. It's always about her. First you, and then Lucas, and Greg's got the eyes for Lulu. No one's ever had the hots for me. Maybe they did, but... Maybe they're just... too intimidated to say. <laughs> that good was I? It's not that. I just didn't think I'd be doing this on the top of a mountain. So, is this a one-off thing? You tell me. I just can't believe I didn't have the balls to tell you how I felt earlier. Did you hear that? Yeah. Do you think it's one of the others? <laughs> it's not a wolf. No one else would be up here, would they? It might be Kelly Jane. <laughs> Down. Relax, Tom. I know it'll be. It'll be great. I've been winding him up all weekend, and this will be his idea of a prank. I'll go scare him. Babe, no. Please don't <laughs> leave me. I'll be right back. Keep the tent warm. Don't be long.
puffing down. I think I just heard a scream. Did you hear anything? No. No, I just need to visit the little boys' room. Do you think the others are okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure they are. You should rest. I've got a mile uphill to meet them tomorrow.
want to escape the evil of the world below into the mountains and hills. She escaped to freedom with her two children. One of the evil ones from the institution tried to cut her, to cut them all. He had done bad things to her, hurt her, along with the others. Only in the world outside this valley does that kind of evil exist. One day, this land will take us. But until then, we must protect it from the outsiders. We will devour them all. Morning. Oh, morning. How long have you been up then? Uh, about an hour or two. I went for a little look around. Didn't want to wake you both. Oh. Aww. It might still be asleep. You kind of restless last night. It's hardly the Ritz out here, Greg. It's not that. I thought I heard something last night. My better than Mary. It's I didn't hear anything. Lily? Oh, I could sleep through Armageddon. <laughs> I didn't hear a thing. <laughs> Look, I guess we should go and find um, Tom and Danny. Do you reckon she's throttled him yet? Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, it's possible. <laughs> I'm sure if we made it through the night, they'll be fine. Yeah. They're in their element out here. Yeah, I suppose. All right, let's get going soon. It's going to take a good hour to get up there. I'll get my bag. No sign of them. They should be here by now. I mean, it's an absolute dead zone. Maybe they're just running late, you know what Danny's like. Guess we could wait a while. We could be having breakfast first. It shouldn't be taking this long. Well, maybe they're busy, Greg, if you know what I mean. Lucky, huh? Sorry. Maybe I should head up to the top. See what's happening. Well, I'd quite like to see what's up there. Maybe we could all go. Oh, I'm a little tired, guys. You go. I'll wait here. Besides, it's beautiful. Well, I'll stay too then. No, it's fine. I could do it sometime by myself. You sure? Shouldn't be more than an hour. Just stay here, OK? We don't really want this to be up again. Ooh. I'll be there.
The stuff's inside, but there's no sign of them. Where are they then? Let's take a look around. Hmm. Tom? Danny! Danny! Tom? This is weird. Uh, let's not start worrying just yet. Maybe they're out on a walk before packing up. What should we do? Let's get back down to Eden, and we can decide what to do. Okay. Tom! Danny! You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you find them? Well, the stuff was there, but there's no sign of them. This is bad. I'm worried they've fallen somewhere. Okay, until we know for sure, we just need to stay calm. All we can do is look around. We haven't got any phone service. Yeah, not even an emergency signal. Okay, it's probably nothing, but the fire smelled from before. I thought I saw some smoke. In the, the hills and the caves in the woodlands. How far would you say? About a mile. Maybe they walked there last night but got caught out by the dark. Might have set up camp over there. Well, we should look that way then. I don't know. <laughs> Something isn't right here. Hey, Luna, calm down. It's okay. We'll find them. Yeah, if it's animals, we can protect ourselves. Okay. <laughs> With what, Gray? This! Look, we can go back the way we came, or we can look for Danny and Tamsin. If you did see a fire out there, it was no wolf that started it. Okay? No one else is out here. They could be injured, they could need our help. Yeah? I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> I want to go home. I want to run a bath. I want to light some incense. And I want to find my centre. We'll check it out, OK? Yeah. And if we can't find them, we'll head back to the hostel and we'll call for help. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Come on, Lou. We've looked enough yet. Yeah. yeah. Let's go deeper. 
What's up? I need a wee. Something's coming with you? Just keep a lookout. I'll wait here for you both. Keep my hair. Yeah. here. No, I'm going to come and check on you, all right? What's up? Christ, Craig. What's going on? I heard you shouting. I need to check on Lulu. She hasn't responded. OK. Do you want me to come? No, hang back. Just in case. Maybe she slipped or fell. Someone's been dragged away. You can see the heel prints in the wet mud. And footprints that are going in reverse too. Someone has dragged Lulu away. Someone. Not someone. This is a person. We can't go for help. We have nothing to defend ourselves no, with. No, we can find her. Is there more? I don't know. All right? He was right. We're all gonna die. No, shut up. I want it to happen. I'm ready. I don't feel anything. No. That's enough. I don't want anyone else to die either. Whatever out there. Good luck. Look at me, okay? You might have a death wish, Eden. But do you want Lulu to die? Or Tamsin? Danny? Me? It's time to fight. Get up and fight with me. Where is she? Where is she? 
Okay, wait out here. I'm gonna go look inside for her. See if she's still on her way. Yeah? Jack and Jill. Wait, the song they were humming. The nursery rhyme. That's them.
He was taken from me in an instant. But sometimes I hear him. He was a good person. Your mother, she was a good person. I know this because she told you because I knew. Listen to me. We are going to keep going. Do you understand me? We are going to keep going and we are not going to look back. But darling. No. No. Come on. But darling. No. Oh, <laughs> 